Hey, welcome back on this Friday morning. We made it to the end of this work week and we continue with the nice weather, more sunshine. I busted out the summer spice scale just to, you know, spice things up a little bit. And we're looking at this weekend to be near habanero hot. Yeah, poor Elizabeth's not here to enjoy the spice meter today. But nonetheless, near 90 degrees for some areas tomorrow across the western UP. Not that it's widespread, but a few spots could reach that level. This is why big ridge of high pressure in the upper levels of the atmosphere. This is the jet stream. It's west of the UP. I think the peak of that ridge basically will be right over us tomorrow afternoon, which is why I think tomorrow will be the hottest day. And then it sticks around throughout the weekend and into next week. There's a dip in the jet stream, a little trough that moves in on Monday, and that brings in a weak frontal boundary, which will result in some rain and some thunder showers to kick off next week. But in the meantime, we have dry as well as sunny weather and some southerly winds. And with that heat comes high heat index as well as a high UV index. And if you're going to be outdoors for excessive periods of times, you should know the differences with the symptoms for heat exhaustion and heat stroke. I think the one thing to really point out is that uh, during heat exhaustion, the person is excessively sweating as compared to not sweating during a heat stroke. During a heat stroke, that person could be exhibiting a strong throbbing headache. Uh, they could have a rapid and strong pulse and they could lose consciousness. So make sure that they're staying hydrated. Make sure you are staying hydrated. And if something happens, make sure that you um, get some medical services and attention. For today, if you have plans to get out to the beach, low 80s along Lake Superior, the UV index is going to be high. Rip currents though, low, that's good. Lower 60s for temperatures and wave heights of around one to two feet along Lake Superior. Lake Michigan, wave heights of near a foot. Rib currents low, UV index still high. Mid 70s there though, a touch cooler along the shoreline of Lake Michigan. Lower to mid 80s across the west end, those 80s in the central UP. Tomorrow afternoon, here's that preview. Upper 80s and a few lower 90s across the west end of the UP. And then some upper 80s across the central counties and the eastern UP lower 80s. It'll be coolest along Lake Michigan tomorrow. High pressure still in control of our weather right now, but now the high pressure is east and southeast of the UP. And so that's giving us a southerly wind flow because we have kind of a clockwise rotation of the wind when we're talking about high pressure as the air is sinking, what we call a subsidence. So wind flow today and for the next coming days as that high will be east and southeast of the UP will be out of the south. Looking ahead towards next week, a little bit more active for Monday as well as on Tuesday. Here's that weak frontal boundary. So we'll start to see some of those showers and thunder showers by mid-afternoon on Monday.